again everyone and welcome back. I am Natty and this is Nat Reviews, the series where I take a look at random pieces of music or other forms of entertainment. This week I shall be continuing with a little bit of a theme from last week with Haya. This week I will be taking a look at the Black Eyed Peas. Let's get it started. So let's get it started in here. Okay, so one may wonder why I decided on this song this week. Well, last week I reviewed the song Hey Ya by Outkast. Now, there is a shared theme here as both songs are dance songs, and both were released in 2003 but hit big in 2004. However, the main comparison I make here is that the song represents a change in the Black Eyed Peas. This song and the album It Came From, Ella Funk, represent a change within the group from their more serious and respected hip-hop roots to more of their pop side that they'd be more known for by the end of the decade. The album itself showed a shift in their sound and also introduced Fergie into the group, which in of itself likely contributed a bit to the change in the group. Stuff from just a few years prior even sound like a big change. Consider it how you will, a sellout, a progression in sound, whatever. But one thing is for certain, the style and sound changed very much. The major difference between the two songs, however, and yes, you can consider this video a direct sequel to my Hey Ya video, is that this song has no underlying meaning. Whereas Hey Ya was an underlying hidden message about modern love disguised as a dance track, Let's Get It Started was more direct in that it was a dance song through and through. Can't blame them. Dance music was big at the time for the main pop charts, so making a dance song made sense. Even with that said, Will I Am and everyone other than Fergie are semi-rapping as they go still. Now you may notice I am avoiding the lyrical content of the song. Why? There is literally nothing in them. They are generic party lyrics. Repeatedly telling the listener to party and party hard. That is literally all there is to it. With that, I guess I should speak of the music video, so let's get on to it. It's at least more noteworthy than the lyrics. The video actually uses an effect I rather enjoy, and that is a camera that rotates in one place as the band performs. In effect, I must remember and enjoy when it was used in Mumford & Sons' video for Babel. But yes, the video uses this effect throughout, and the video just screams 2004. There is no ifs, ands, or buts to it. The video features the group performing the song and dancing in very early to mid-2000s attire. There is also a crowd at random times in the video as the group performs on stage. There really isn't much in the way of content other than that, but that can be understood as we know the lyrics surely had no help in making things complex. A side note being, I am still not used to seeing Will I Am with longer hair. Everyone else I can recognize, but Will I Am really caught me off guard. Could say, it's a dance song, it doesn't need much in the way of a music video. But that in of itself is a lie, as Hey I had a more in-depth video, and one with much more going on in it. But yes, let's also talk of the musical element of the song. It is the part I enjoy the most. The beat is very good and listenable. For what the song lacks in lyrics, it knows how to make up for it by its beat. Seriously, it is what carries this song through and through. It's the part I remembered most from my childhood, along with the Let's get it started line. There is one more comparison the song has to Hey Ya, and that is its controversy. I am sure many of you who came to this video know, but this song had sparked a bit of a controversy just in its original edition of the album. The original title was much more offensive, and a few of the lyrics as well were also offensive. I would repeat what they were, but I don't think they fly here on the platform. The lyrics will be linked in the description below for the original version, but at least it wasn't insulting native tribes like Hey I did in its Grammy performance. Controversial lyrics don't change much. Still pretty vague in general, get up and party lyrics. I do believe the version of the song with controversial lyrics was employed by the group to generate more attention for the song, wouldn't surprise me. Even if they weren't playing on that, the song still was massive in how much it was used in other media. The song didn't actually chart that highly, but it was a step in the right direction for the group, and the song was pretty much everywhere, even if it didn't get the highest pop chartings. The song may have briefly been in the spotlight, but it did make a big impact for the group, and helped forward their careers into the megastardom of later in the decade got them. But yes, that is about all I can mention on the song's content. So let's move on to my personal thoughts.
Well, my thoughts on the song are that it has a great beat, one that is danceable, however the rest of it, including the video, are a bit lacking. The video is visually something you could remember, but the lyrics of the song are just flatly forgettable. Maybe the chorus will stick, but mostly I remember to be in the random moments in the video as they seem to have lasted in my mind since childhood. It's a great song if you want something inoffensive to jam to at a party, especially if you're going for the 2004 Funkalicious vibe of the times. I can't believe I just said that. You can certainly dance to it and get pumped by it, however the rest of the material leaves it much to be desired. Though for a rookie step into mainstream pop, I say it was a success may have been on the tail end of the singles released from the album, but it's the only one I remember. It wasn't even the biggest single on the album. Now, the original album version would definitely not pass these days, but the remix, which this sort of was, is something that could work, but we'd need a mainstream pop dance wave to kick back in. And to my knowledge, we don't got one right now. I will make a side note. It's nice all the members of the group got their own verses and part in this song. Fergie didn't give verse, but she's featured prominently enough in the rest of the song. In their latter works, I can't help but feel it's the Fergie and Well I Am show. The song, especially in the chorus, reminds me muchly of Boom Boom Pal. Mayhaps they had some influence from that during their hiatus before working on the END. Listening to this song and watching the video slowly made me realize more and more on just how smart Hey All was as a song and its meaning as a video. Hey Ah now gets even more of my praise, and is a prime example of dance music with a deeper meaning and done right. Meanwhile, stuff like this song, while not a bad song, is just passable. You can have as great a beat as you wish, but if the rest is lacking in any field, it may not do. So yeah, this song gets a solid B for me, and no, I will not make a I'm a B joke here. We are talking about the Black Eyed Peas here. Their height was arguably the late 2000s. It's now 2018, and they haven't really made anything majorly since 2010. I am unsure they will be making anything new album-wise, especially with all the troubles the members have been having since the group began releasing new stuff again. I personally think the group has a lot of potential, perhaps if they went back to their hip-hop and more rap roots. Especially in this age of rap dominance, they could make it somewhere. It may or may not be too late to salvage that base of theirs. They are an established name, and they could make a comeback. But I am uncertain on their chances at the present time. Sure, I would like to hear what new things they can put together in 2018 or 2019 are. But at the present, it's not entirely likely. There is a recent pickup in music resembling the 90s sound and the 90s hip-hop sounds, respectively. So they have a chance to throw it back old school and do hip-hop again rather than club music. However, this too pretty much wraps up my thoughts on the song in general and probably helped you learn some things. Well everyone, it appears we have reached the end of our little bit of time together. I enjoyed myself and I hope you have as well. You know all the typical end of video stuff like commenting, subbing, and all that. So I won't go over that here, but yes, this has been Natty and I wish you all have an absolutely wonderful day. Let's get it started in here.